Enthusiastic introduction, Nick here with what is a very, very exciting video for me. Today I'm attempting to remove all of the excess hardware from a CADX Vista with the Nebula camera to see how lightweight I can get the DJI Digital HD FPV system and put it into this little toothpick style quad right here. Now I'll be splitting this video into three sections. First I'm going to be reviewing the Naked Vista setup. Will it work? What's the performance like when I've taken away the excess hardware? And then I'm gonna review the camera, the Nebula camera. And then I'm gonna review the performance of this quad once it has the d case Cadex Vista with Nebula camera set up. So before I get into the interview, I wanna give a shout out to Nathaniel Ackermans on YouTube, who let me know that he was able to in fact take apart the Cadex Vista system. And this was before the Nebula camera came out. Link down below in the description to check out his original video. Once I found out that the Cadex Nebula camera was coming out and that it would be a weight savings, I was really excited to try out deconstructing the Vista and see how light we could get this thing. It's it's actually very easy. There's only, there's, only, there's four screws on each side. You take off each screw and you just pull it apart. You just peel them apart. They're stuck together with some thermal compound, but you just gently pull. You can see this blue stuff, it kind of just comes off. And then you're left with two boards that fit whoop, a whoop stack or 20 by 20 mounting. So that's these two top boards right here are the Cadex Vista, believe it or not. The bottom board here is the flight controller. The thing in between here, there's just a little, there's just a little ribbon cable connecting the two boards. And that's really it. Um, you can see the weight that I saved here. Um, and in this photo, I was I was using this Emacs antenna that I was hoping to use, but it in fact sucks. So I'm just using the Cadex Vista stock antenna, which is about a gram heavier, so no big deal. Highly recommend just, just use the stock antenna, or if you wanna save maybe half a gram, use the micro axi, which also works well. Before we get into some flight footage, I just wanna show you a comparison of weight between these various options. The original DJI Air unit came in at around 53.6 grams. That's including the two antennas, not shown here. Then when the Vista came out, the weight dropped significantly we, to 32 and a half grams. So we lost, you know, a little over 20 grams, which is amazing. Now with the Nebula shaving off about five grams, uh, which is still, in my opinion, a little heavy for this, you know, toothpick class um, even though some people are putting them in toothpicks and some people are putting them in whoops. With this version, the Naked Vista, meaning the decased or deconstructed Vista, is coming in at 16 grams, which is a pretty huge weight savings. And once you also take into account the extra hardware, because these screws, there's extra screws and extra spacers because the stack is a little taller, you're probably looking at about a 10 gram difference between this and the and the full size Vista with a Nebula camera. Um, and then I also put here on the right, my this is the setup I was using before, a Baby Rattel with an Ishii Nano VTX and a Micro Axie coming in at 7.7 .7 grams. So let's say the Naked Vista setup is about probably 10 grams heavier if you're counting hardware, 10 grams heavier than a traditional video setup, 10 grams lighter than a Vista with a Nebula camera. So definitely worthwhile. So I wanna show you some flight footage and we're also gonna transition into the camera review. So one main concern I had was without the thermal paste insulation, would this thing overheat? And the simple answer is no, it, not at all. I've used it in normal situations. I've used it during the middle of the heat. I've used it in the evening. It has flown great. The range has not been different. I have the full size Vista on this quad here and I have not noticed, you know, I, I fly in the same areas and it starts to break up in the same spots. So the range is the same. I, I'm, you know, I assume DJI, they're just being extra careful putting the protective case on this thing, but it truly doesn't need it if you're careful. Um, one build tip, the holes, the whoop mount holes are not quite M2 size. So you have two options here. You can use smaller uh, screws, M1.5, 1.6, 1.8, whatever, those, are all, those will all work. Or I, I chose to stick with M2 for the strength. So in that case, I basically just drilled out the holes to make them bigger on each side. And it was very easy. Screw this in, now I have nice and strong M2 hardware throughout the build. Now getting into the 
Nebula review. Um, I am not so enthusiastic about this camera. I'm really excited about the weight savings. However, I'm kind of surprised that DJI put their name on this product. Um, the the picture quality compared to the original, you know, the main DJI camera is just poor. I, I, I'm, I was really bummed about it. Um, as you can tell, it kind of has this weird foggy effect when you start to get towards trees. Um, all in all, I think it's definitely better than an analog, than a comparable analog system. But yeah, I, I, I really hope that there's something in the firmware that can fix this, but I'm not optimistic. Disappointed with DJI and this camera, um, but as far as toothpicks and this sort of class go, I would still recommend it. It does seem like the best option for both quality and range. And lastly, I you know I added about 10 grams to this quad with the Vista setup here. And discussing the flight characteristics, it still flies very well. Flight characteristics are great, no prop wash. It is certainly heavier, so it's not gonna feel the same as your ultralight toothpicks, but it flies great. It flies really well. Um, I would prefer it over having a lightweight VTX, but of course that's a personal preference. And I'm flying it with the, uh, the 453S. And let me get a quick weight so you guys can see the total 77.3. Let's see if you can. And with the battery, we are at 118.8. So that's my review of the Naked Cadex Vista Nebula system. Final thoughts are if you are going to do this, this sort of setup, just make sure you have a lot of airflow and it's open, you know, so that when you're flying around, these things can keep cool. And otherwise, I would highly recommend it. I'm bummed about the Nebula camera, but really glad that we can fit this sort of thing in a toothpick and not affect the flight characteristics too much. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe. My life depends on it.